reaction of ammonia with alkyl halide is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction ammonia has a lone pair of electron so it will act as a nucleophile and it will act as a nucleophile Let us consider reaction of ammonia with ethyl bromide So this is ethyl bromide and we have ammonia This is an example of SN2 reaction. Ammonia will act as a nucleophile and it will attack on ethyl bromide. ethyl ammonium bromide will be obtained as product so this is basically an amine salt if this amine salt is treated with base finally we will have amine So this is the reaction of amine salt with base So finally we will generate amine So this is amine this reaction is a typical sn2 kind of reaction so order of reactivity of different alkyl halide methyl alkyl halide is most reactive then primary then secondary alkyl halide now in case of tertiary alkyl halide mainly elimination occurs and this is because ammonia can act as a base also
For example, let us consider this reaction. This is a tertiary alkyl halide. In this case, ammonia will act as a base. and it will abstract this proton and the same time Br minus will leave. And finally, this alkene will be generated. So, in case of tertiary alkyl halide, alkene is the major product. This reaction that is reaction of ammonia with alkyl halide cannot be used for preparation of amine. In this case, basically a mixture of product is obtained. And this happens because ammonia can act as a base or it can also act as a nucleophile. So, you see ethyl ammonium bromide that is a amine salt that is initially formed. So, if you have ammonia this reacts with ethyl bromide and it forms ethyl ammonium bromide. And this ethyl ammonium bromide can be deprotonated by ammonia. So, ammonia will act as a base. This reaction is reversible. So, this will generate primary amine. But now, this primary amine can act as a nucleophile and it can attack on ethyl bromide. and we will have this amine salt. This amine salt can be deprotonated again by ammonia to give a secondary amine 
Now this secondary amine can again act as a nucleophile. It will attack on ethyl bromide we will have a amine salt this salt can be deprotonated again by ammonia and we will have a tertiary amine so this is a 3 degree amine now this 3 degree amine can further act as a nucleophile and it can attack on ethyl bromide and finally we will have quaternary ammonium salt So basically in this case we are getting a mixture of product first product is primary amine the second product is secondary amine third product we have tertiary amine and finally we have quaternary ammonium salt so we can say in this case four products are obtained so this is not a good method for preparation of amine so this reaction cannot be used for preparation of amine we can control this reaction by changing the concentration of reactant. For example, ammonia is taken in excess. In this case, ethyl ammonium bromide is the major product and this upon treatment with base will give ethyl amine
as the major product. So if we take ammonia in excess, we can prepare this primary amine. This happens because since we have ammonia in excess, so this has high probability to collide with ethyl bromide compared to these molecules. These molecules are less in concentration compared to ammonia. So this has very less chance to collide with ethyl bromide. So we can say since ammonia is in very high concentration it has more probability to collide with ethyl bromide. Similarly, if we take ethyl bromide in excess, quaternary ammonium salt will be the major product. 